This is it. The location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. This is getting quicker. A workshop underneath a dead Horus Titan. Just the kind of place Silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? That device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Poor Hades. So cramped in there. No room to think. He can't even speak. Now the processing orb of a Titan on the other hand. Well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable. Until interrogations begin anyway. Uh, some kind of law. Most of it's redacted. It looks like Silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead. A perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. Signal to render it for me. Signal was received for one seven. you need a reminder that you have failed. So you see, Aloy, Gaia can be safely rebooted. As for where to find a backup, well, you need to trot along after me to find out. He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. And I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Some kind of red crystal.
better see where this trail leads. is full, but so here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it. And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. Good fire that machine with shock ammo. of green shine.
Sands must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? see anyone else out here. It might be handy to resupply. What's Honora doing this far west? No matter, no matter. I can get you stocked up for the wild. use that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb silence stuck Hades in. And that door. Looks like a pharaoh facility. Or a zero dawn.
are you? System threat detected. You don't look so good. You are the AI. Come to destroy me. Yes. Permanently this time. Even like this, you're a threat to Gaia. Once I resurrect her. So you have not yet secured Gaia back up. <sighs> then Gaia is dead. Earth and you too. Despite malfunctions, I have won. What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? Data, their memory structures disintegrate. You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? <laughs> Okay, that's not going anywhere. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to coordinates based on... Scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Do you know where Silence went? No. He departed 12.8 days ago. Perhaps he... Data error. Behavior prediction structures disintegrated. So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia? been easy. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Non-viable biospheres aborted. Five four two one six one two one six eight. So that that's centuries ago. 
It's what you were designed to do. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. That's your override arms. Connected. Stay name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. That's your override activated. Bridging extinction protocol. see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face to face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I... I'm using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing. But yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts? Aloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. Just to... confirm... Hades said that there are backups of Gaia. In there. Yes. Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system. Restore control over the terraforming system. Save life on Earth. And there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Eloy. Last I checked, you still had a superintelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah. The same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... <sighs> the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Gaia's safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. 
All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Silva. Please step inside. Please step inside. Please step inside. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lash's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindle weed. I just need to get the parts. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter. I should scan one of them. My focus can show me where the part is. Okay, now where's its power cell? There's the power cell. I can tag it in my focus display. That'll help. I'll have to detach it before the machine goes down. Grab this on the go.
There. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I'd step back if I were you. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. Now that I have this... It's igniter, I could blow up that fire gleam that I've seen before. Focus on the task at hand, Aloy. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. But that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. Well, this is familiar. Picking my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup. Caster might come in handy here. Pull that.
Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Door's locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. Looks like this connects to the door, but it needs power. Energy cell. That did it. I'm Man Ted, harbinger of the end of time. What's above me? What can I do for you? Your modifications to Recluse Spider, the separate repositories for Gaia and Hades samples, well, the costs are off the charts. Huh? I'm gonna move testing of the Hades protocol to Zero Dawn headquarters next week. Slow down, Haas. Let me put it to you, nursery school simple. Babe Hades is a vile little thing. And it's got to stay in his crib. One slip and it'll cut off every data stream and power line and legs. That's why this dark and scary hole you made is perfect. Very hard to get an unauthorized signal out, so all the cyber... Maybe my focus can help here. This should unlock the door. Once I power it back on. This console shut down.
else do we have here? Elizabeth and Travis Tate. just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rag scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal lag. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, I love this world so damn much, but no one in it. I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. And she was religious. <laughs> <laughs>